The Italian boatyard Absolute builds seven different flying bridges that range from 40 to 72 feet. It's so complete as a series that it shows off their experience in this type of boat. And today, we're here to find out more about one of the most interesting, the Absolute 60 Fly. It's 18 metres and 40 centimetres long and 5 metres and 5 centimetres wide. It stands out because of its mirrored windows and clean lines that show this boat's proud character. The living area feels very familiar. You feel cosy in here thanks to the nice light decor. The furniture is functional. The living space starts at the entrance and goes right through to the cockpit and the large windows let the outside world in. There's a sofa that wraps around the table and the cooking area is right in front of it. A well thought out design in the kitchen, the security hooks for the freezer, fridge and electric window are all next to the hob. Two characteristics that make you understand Absolute's mission. There are two handrails in the corridor and beside the sunshade there's a small sofa in the space that usually doesn't get used. This isn't just a yacht, it's a home on the sea. The design shows this off well. As you can see, they've used every space and surface. The deck house is wider than usual towards the bow, which maximizes that space. The sun deck stretches out to the top and offers a wonderful view onto the sea. It's for three people with an adjustable backrest. They've managed to add a sofa even in front of the windscreen. As well as the table and sofa in the cockpit, there's an unusual sunning area here on the 60-foot fly. An electric shade makes it more intimate. The bathing area goes underwater. It's a big boat with a big fly, made more versatile as the hardtop opens. In the mid zone, you'll find a kitchen with grill, fridge, and ice maker, and a table that seats six. The furniture has been thought out very precisely, obsessively, you could say. This thoughtfulness, which might be missed amongst all the splendor, is actually really important in terms of actually living here. The terrace at the stern can be set out how you want it to be. There are three cabins and three bathrooms below deck. The interior designer has made the main cabin appear even bigger by putting in a horizontal headboard, which has the bedside tables built in too. The sofa goes with the dressing area and the windows. They do justice to the view. Ma la caratteristica più sorprendente di questo vano è l'altezza. Ha tre porte, quella di ingresso. The most impressive thing about this space though is height. It's got three doors, the entrance, the wardrobe and bathroom. The bathroom is very spacious with its twin sinks, framed lit mirror and shower cubicle. The VIP cabin, normally found at the bow, really benefits from these big windows, something you rarely see in this area and from the original layout, with a diagonal double bed and dressing table up at the top. It's just right for a microphone. And there is a dedicated bathroom. Taking time at the design level, like Absolute does, means making the best of all the space, including some of the structural elements. The mirrors double the size of the place, as does the light in the guest cabin with its twin beds. The mariner's cabin has two beds, is well lit and is furnished like the guest cabin. 
The Absolute Fly 60 comes equipped with IPS 800 or 950. It's got the same type of propulsion with the same identical engines, 725 horsepower or even 626. The engine is still the D11, a six-cylinder turbo diesel, 10,840 cubic centimetres that's recently been updated to increase potential, whilst lowering emissions and noise. The turbine has been changed and there are new silencer systems on the waste and air filters. Absolute has been one of the first boatyards to adopt the Volvo Penta IPS system, and so it's logical that all the boats in this series have it. The machine room is so well organized, well cabled, I want to stay here a bit longer and show you something interesting. Can you see what it is? It's the most simple system for seeing how much petrol there is. Not much. Stiamo uscendo dal porto e questo è il primo contatto con l'imbarcazione, qui al posto di governo interno. Mi piace questo timone che si incunea nella plancia, perché? perché so we are leaving the port now and this is the first time I have set foot on the boat here inside. I like this helm and these wedges on the dashboard. Why? Because like this the commands are all to hand, but the instruments are so easy to reach too. I don't need to stretch like I often do on a boat like this. The seat is close. I can lean back or even drive sitting down, and the commands are always at hand. The dashboard has a very high-tech look, with its carbon look. Però la giornata è stupenda. Io andrei a pilotare. What a gorgeous day. Think I'll go steer from the fly. By going out here, and there's the door onto the passageway. Il fatto è che mi piace molto anche questa postazione di pilotaggio perché ha due poltroncine e sono anatomiche. Qui mi sento protetto. I really like this area. It's got two molded armchairs, so I feel very safe. And there's the sofa, the sun deck, so your friends can be close by whilst you're sailing. Your guests can share the experience of flying across the water. As for the dashboard, they've put this dark cover that looks like an eyebrow over it which throws shade over the instruments so the screens can always be seen easily. They've installed a joystick, but I can assure you that it drives perfectly, even with the classic command levers, even in narrow straits of water. It's very agile, maneuvering quickly, always. And now the top series of Absolute Flies, starting with the 60, has a hard top, which is a very useful accessory, especially in certain climates. When the sun is high, the captain can sail protected from the rays, so they'll be able to see better too. Il progetto della Top è stato tutt'altro che banale. Absolute lo ha studiato in modo che il suo profilo esaltasse le linee dell'imbarcazione e poi ha fatto in modo che fosse robusto. The hard top project, of course, isn't just your everyday. Absolute has studied it, so its profile shows off the series of boats in such a way that it's strong, obviously, but light too, with a big soft top, i.e. with its vast opening zone. And to finish off, the whole hard top can be surrounded with see-through sails. That makes this flying bridge a true veranda on the sea, so it's a great living space throughout. And now it's down to the sailing. A bit of gas, bring it up to planing, and to regulate the trim, you've got to slightly lower the interceptors at the stern. They do the same thing as the tabs or flaps, Call them what you want. They make the incidence angle better when the boat's in the water. At 13 knots, the boat is planing, and at 15 knots, we're at optimum cruising speed. The engine's revving at 1700, and consumption is 4.5 litres per mile. How can you not want to sail on a day like today, on the Ligurian coast? 
If you're looking for a more economical cruise, this is ideal. 25 knots and the engines are revving at 2,100 revs, and consumption is just 7.4 litres per mile. But on this Absolute 60 fly, we have impressive power, two 725 horsepower engines. Let's see how fast they run. From here, you really have the feeling you're flying on water because the bow is high. I can't even see the wake. It's far behind in respect of the barry centre of the boat, so I feel as if we're in a glider. But we're on the sea and, in effect, we're going quite fast, 33.5 knots at high so far. Well, I can say my work has been done. Time to relax now. <laughs>